Welcome back everybody. Let's work on a thermodynamics problem. We have 100 grams of R134A. It fills a weighted piston cylinder. At first it's at uh, 60 kilopascals and 20 degrees Celsius. Then it will be heated and our second temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Now they want us to determine the change in the device's volume due to this heating process. Here's a little sketch of our setup, a weighted piston cylinder. The weighted piston, all it means that it will not resist the expansion or the shrinkage of this fluid. It will allow it to do whatever it likes. Okay, uh, We're going to be heating it from negative 20 to 100 C. And our job is to find the change in volume. We're going to go to the saturated pressure table of R134A. We're going to go to the pressure and find 60 kilopascals, just like they said, we are it. Let's see, they're going to be in the table, you're going to see a bunch of properties. We're going to take a look at the temperature. It says negative 36.95. This means that this fluid is saturated when at this pressure and this temperature. Now we see that our temperature is negative 20. That means that this is larger than the saturation point. So this table is not good for us to take properties from. We need to go to the superheated table. R134A, pressure, make sure you go to the correct pressure window, P equals 0 0.06 megapascals. Don't get lost with the units. Sometimes they change units from kilopascals to megapascals. And find the temperatures that we need. We need negative 20 and we need 100. Okay. For both of them, for negative 20, find the specific volume right here. And for 100, the specific volume is right here. Okay, let's go ahead and use them. We need the change in volume, right? Which is large V. Now, the specific volume has a formula where it equals volume over mass. If you forget this, take a look at the unit of the specific volume in the table. How does it look like? It has meters cubed over kilogram, volume over mass. Here it is. So let's use this one. This is what we just got from the table. Pressure temperature gave us specific volume. We're going to use it in this formula and we're going to be able to find the volume equals to 0.033608 meters cubed. We're going to do exactly the same step for our second temperature. Pressure, temperature, we're going to find, we found it already, right, right here in the table. We use the exact same formula we did here. We're going to find from here V2, our second volume. And now all there is left to find the changes in volume V2 minus V1. That's going to give us right here 0 0.016802 meters cubed all right there you have it that is our final answer thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and have a great day